Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be a kind of a craft with me. Um, I thought we could put together this um, sunflower bag topper from Scrap Diva Designs. Um, it comes in a large size and a small size. So I thought this is the large one I've cut out. I've made this smaller one. This is just the flower part of it. I haven't like finished it off yet, but this is probably be the part that, you know, you might want a tutorial on. So let's just kind of craft together and put it together. So I have um, the base, um, the, the bag topper, actual bag topper part right here. Okay, so two of those. All right, I'm using the Harvest Market collection from um, Simple Stories. Okay, so I cut out one of these in the um, bigger shape. So let me show you the pieces so you know what you're get, what you're cutting. <clears throat> okay, so here's the base piece. You're going to be cutting two of those. Okay. This is the bigger piece of the of the petals. That's the one I cut this out of. You'll need one of those. And you can have more. Just this is all I all I used. And then there's a smaller one, which is what I cut this one out of from the smaller. And then I cut a piece of vellum out of the smaller one also. Okay. <clears throat> I cut a on this one I didn't I, I use didn't use this as the backing piece on this one. I did it on this one, so you can't really see it, but behind there, it's it's this piece, okay? But I didn't use that this time. This time, um, I just used a circle, plain circle die from my stash, and actually it's a scrap deep ball, so it's one of the um, essentials um, kits. It has um, circles and ovals. Must have. You need these kind of things all the time, and they're all nesting. You get a whole bunch of dies, so very, very handy. So I used this. I just went through the ones that I had and just saw, you know, which one would line up with the circle, and so I chose that one. Okay. So with that, I cut out a piece of acetate. So there's my acetate, and then I also cut out just a plain circle on the pattern paper to be my backing. Okay. All right, and then this is the piece that goes around the top and what makes the shaker. So I use this to cut out two pieces of foam because this is a really thin foam. It's a it's an adhesive back, which I really like, but um, it's pretty thin. So I cut out two of them all, we'll glue them together and then we'll glue this one on top, okay? <clears throat> these are just some extra pieces that came out of the center. I used some of these before on this other one to make um, to get for some depth so <clears throat> first thing let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and glue these pieces together so that they can get drying okay so I am going to put some glue on top okay so this is I'm using barely arts okay, so I'm just gonna go around this whole thing And I'm just gonna kinda, you know, rub it in so it kinda gets all across the foam, not just, you know, on the one spot. Okay, and like I said, this, mine is a sticky back, so it has this, I'll peel off. And um, go ahead and line this up the best I can, sticking it together. Now, sometimes they kinda move, but um, that was part of the reason, too, for putting on the, um, <laughs> for putting on the um, Barely Art so it would slide a little bit and let me work this, okay. So there's my two layering pieces. Here is my glass block. I always use, I have these bowl, I have a smaller one, a big one, the two, my two heaviest ones. I have more, but these are my two heaviest ones, so I always have those sitting right beside me. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take this topper piece. It's, um, it's this piece right up here, okay. We're gonna glue that, go ahead and glue that to our acetate so we can get that 
um, situated, get it glued. Okay, so I'm just gonna take those two pieces and glue them together. Okay, so this one's just a tad bit smaller, this the acetate piece, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my glue on the outside of, on the, cor on the edge of it rather than on the, um, rather than on the um, glitter piece. <clears throat> so just gotta get it lined up here and it's gonna get all over probably. That's okay, I'll clean it up. <clears throat> Let me put my thing on here and start getting it a little bit situated. So I got my um, got my block right here. Here, let me. I moved it my camera in closer, so you can hopefully see better. So, but let me get that starting to stick, and then um, I'm going to get me a a um, wipe, and then I'll kind of wipe that off a little bit where I got it. It's going to go in along the edge. And it seems like you can hardly ever get by without getting any on. Um, because, you know, because it slides. And so, and if you don't have super steady hands, um, like I don't anymore, then it's easy to, you know, get it, but it's easy to wipe off too. So, okay, that's wiped off. Let's just put that under there and keep that pressing down. Okay, so those two can be sitting there getting ready. And then I'm gonna go ahead and this is gonna be my base for the, for the shaker, for the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh, glue right here and we'll attach the um, the foam pieces and then we'll put that let that set aside to keep drying so here we go okay and like I told you before, this is um, adhesive back, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull off the adhesive sheet, um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this down here, so the liquid glue should give me a little bit of wriggle wiggle room to get this kind of lined up. So now that my thing is a little bit smaller, um, since it's a little bit smaller than the um, oval, I'm going to, and my stuff is sticky, I'm going to um, de-sticky, de-sticky it, because <laughs> it's gonna stick to my thing, my mat and stuff. So just take my little powder tool and go around the edges. So it kind of takes the sticky away. I'm going to do it around these edges too because, um, you know, your little sequins and everything like to stick to anything it can find. So <clears throat> I'm going to let this dry a little bit, and then when I get when it gets pretty dry, that I'm going to go along that inside with a powder tool again, just to um, make sure there's no sticky areas left. Okay. Okay, so that's my base. So what I'm gonna be doing is pouring my mix into here. Okay, and then here's the top that's gonna to cover that and keep it in. Okay, so in the meantime, while that is drying, <clears throat> the next thing that I did was take my, um, on this one, I inked the edges with my peacock feathers from Tim Holtz Distress Oxide. Okay, I forgot to get out my new color I wanted to use was this one. So hang on just a second. Let me see what color might look good with that. 
I thought I was all prepared, but I had the blue out still from when I used when I used that. Okay, so I got all these colors. This is just one of them. Let's see, a worn lipstick. That'd be kind of pretty. Let's kind of go through these real quick. Picked raspberry. Um, that looks a little too bright pink. Red. I thought it was pink. That might be the only two pinks I have in this tray. I'm not sure. Saltwater taffy. That is pretty. It may not show up that much though. Okay, I'm going to go with more lipstick. <clears throat> Rather than going looking through my other tray. <laughs> But I will need another um, color for my tool. Because so I have my little, um, that color on there, peacock feathers. So I keep all my little, um, I have, you know, a little, um, it's going to be kind of hard to see, but you can kind of get the idea because it's so close. But anyway, I have the different colors. I have a you know, a little foamy thing for each one so I can change it out. And I have them all labeled in this, and it's all kept in this binder. I don't have a ton of them. I did it when I first got them, and I've gotten a lot more colors since then, and I didn't, <clears throat> I don't think I've, you know, added those in, so. But that's okay. We got Warren lipstick right here, so I will use that. And we'll put this one back in. That one was... What did I say that was? Oh yeah, Peacock Brothers. So that goes right back here. Okay. And then we just stick this on. All right, and we're just gonna ink the edges of all of our flowers, just a little bit. These look, I like to ink when I do flowers just because it, I used to ink everything, but I don't anymore just because I guess I got lazy. <laughs> if I'm doing anything vintage, though, I for sure ink. And, but this just gives it a little bit more dimension when you're, you know, when you're layering up flowers. Oh, I guess I had that so close. Sorry, guys. This is probably why I don't do very many tutorials. Uh, but I hope this gives you an idea what, how to put this together and how to make a, um, shaker out of it. So I'll just go around and kind of ink these. I haven't bent them or anything like that yet. I'm just going to ink them for now. Okay, because I'm probably going to give them a little bit of shape. This color is not going to show up much on this color of paper. Cover my ink back up. <clears throat> Put that aside. Okay, so these are all inked now. Okay, so now you can um, you could make a shaker with this the way it is, just with this. You know, you wouldn't have to have this extra piece. I just thought if I decide to use anything small, you know, like, um, like micro beach or something, it, you know, might go through there. So that's why I didn't use this piece and I just use, use this one for the, you know, for the backing. Okay. What's next? All right. Let's get these um, pieces of flour layered up. What I did in this other one is I kind of just took this uh, end of a paintbrush here, just kind of a smaller thing, and I just kind of you know, just gave it a little bit of curl, not much. I mean, you can also, you know, like put it in the middle and kind of, you know, you know, make them gather up here on the sides too, or for that direction if you want to. 
So I just I just curl the ends a little bit on on the one I did. So I'll just go around and kind of do those that on each of them. I don't think this vellum is gonna. curl real well. Somewhat. Okay, so there's that. And then we'll do the other one. I gotta remember to put my hands back down so it's not all fuzzy and, and so you can see it, not have it all blurred out. Sorry guys. Gotta remember I brought you in close. I need to keep keep down there. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is layer this one on top of this one, just offset just a tad. Okay, and then I think I'll put this one over the top of that one and just kind of offset it a little bit too. Okay, so I think I'll just go in and just add some um, glue to the center piece. Okay, and then line the circle part up and just kind of turn it a little bit. I don't want it totally offset, but just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna put more glue. Actually, I think I'm gonna put um, one of these little pieces of foam right here in the center, and that will that's gonna raise up my next layer. Give me a, just a tad bit more depth. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick that here in the center. Now, I wouldn't have wanted to do that if I wasn't having something covering this up because then it shows through the vellum but I'm covering it up so it doesn't matter okay I'm gonna put this one lined up in the center and then just kind of offset this one a little bit now you could add a bunch more layers and stuff too it's so pretty and if you get both sizes you could use some of the smaller sizes with the bigger sizes, you know, make it even more um, layers and, and different sizes. Okay, so there's that part done. <clears throat> okay, next up, let's go ahead and glue our base piece to our flower. Okay, so... And do that. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and place this down in the center there. I'm gonna get my black glass block again and weight that down. I'll change these out, put that over there. Okay, now we are let's go ahead and put together our base you know our actual bag topper piece so you just take it and fold it on the um on the line there that's there's a score line so you're just going to fold that down which i'm sure all of you all you guys know that okay and then just do the same thing on the other one fold that down also okay Now let's go ahead and put some glue on there and then we'll just put these two together. And then the actual bag topper part will be ready. So you just line this up. These two up like this, make sure it's all even. And then just kind of put some pressure on it so it stays. Okay, normally I'd put my block on there, but I'm using my blocks other places, and these areas are more important, so I'm going to leave that right there. Okay, next up, what we are going to do is put our sequins inside there. Okay, so hopefully that's... adhered down real well, so... Okay, what I'm going to do is... Um, I did this on my other one too. I used the um, uh, the Falls Shaker Plate Bundle from Scrap Diva also. It has all these four different shaker plates. We got um, the 
uh, acorns and mushrooms and the two different styles of leaves. So I use this kind of fatter leaf, okay? And I cut out some pretty, pretty pieces of leaves that I'm gonna use as part of my um, sequin mix. I'm just gonna place them in there so they stay, you know, kind of upright. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm going to add some of this uh, sprinkle mix with the pink. So put a few pieces of that in there. Okay, I'm going to add, let's see, I use this color for the I use this color with the blue one, but that's going to blend in a lot. I may not use that one this time. Okay, but I am going to add some blue because of this blue here, and I like the looks of that. So I'm going to add just a few of these tiny little, like, disc-type ones in here with the blue. So this one's probably going to need a little bit more blue. I'm going to put some of this more clear one in here also. Okay, that looks pretty. Maybe a little more of light pink because it just needs a little bit more pink in there. Okay. So there is basically my shaker mix inside there. So I might have got it too full. I don't know, but it looks pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to take my glue again. Okay, and I'm going to go around the outside of this. You got to be real um, gentle and easy with things because if you move too fast or you bump something, then half your sequins jump out and land up in the um, in the glue and stuff. <laughs> Ask me how I know that. It does it to me quite frequently, in fact. Okay. So I got some glue on. Okay, now I'm going to take my piece over here, my acetate and my border piece. And I am going to line that up. Now the only thing that I don't like about um, the foam pieces that I use that have the um, sticky back on them is that when you peel the backing off, sometimes it stretches the foam a little bit. So if you can see, I got a little bit um, hanging out right here and there, um, but I got it covered on the inside. And when I finish the outside of it, I think it'll be fine. But anyway, so if I was to just use, you know, a five or six cuts of, of the die cut and stack them up, or if I was to use, you know, the foam board or regular foam it probably wouldn't have done that as much but like I say that's the only part I don't like about the sticky back foam is that it does as you pull it off it kind of stretches it a little bit so let's let that sit there a second <clears throat> and then we're gonna finish it up <clears throat> and try to not you know pick it up and shake it I mean you can pick it up if you need to but Try not to shake it around because you want to let everything dry before you shake it. So, so anyway, yeah, I think this turned out really cute. So the next thing we're going to do is put this black and white striped um, twine around the outside. I love, I love having a little touch of black and white on my projects. So I think that's just enough. Plus it kind of covers the outside of the foam stacked up there. So I think that turned out really pretty. I'm not sure what else I'm going to do to... Um, you know, to uh, embellish these. Um, probably add some more words or something like, you know, add a word across or something. But anyway, I just want to show you guys how to put this together. I got another one cut out right here already, so I'm ready to um, do another one. So it's very easy and very fun and definitely does not have to be 
um, you know, like fall, you know, sun, just sunflower. You can use all kinds of pretty colors, you know, light colors. It, it doesn't have to just look like a sunflower, so, which is what I love about it. So, and then, like I said, if you get both sizes, you can combine, <clears throat> you know, and make it real thick. I mean, look at that with all the smaller layers and the bigger layers. Look how pretty that is. So, anyway. I try not to make it move around too much, but I don't want it to take forever to finish this video. So I'm hoping it's sticking down. So I don't know, have you guys picked up um, the uh, jelly tote bag number two? It's not gonna be able to see it very good in here because it's it's big, but all I've done is cut it out. I haven't decorated or anything, but oh my gosh, it is so easy to put together, so cute, and look how much space is down in there. I attached mine with some um, brass, well, they were actually brass and I cut off the ends and then I just glued them on to the, to the um, handle. It's so cute. Just as cute as the other one, the first one she came out with. This is just gorgeous, love this. So, so many possibilities with that one. So I highly recommend that if you guys haven't picked that up yet. I'll be back to share that when I get it done, but anyway, let's see if this is done enough. <laughs> if it's done enough, it's cooked enough so that I can do the last step or the next step. Okay, hopefully it is. Okay, so now, let me put this lid back on here. Okay, so now I'm going to use my twine. And I'm going to wrap around that. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is um, just put, I'm going to use hot glue on this part. So it, you know, it starts fast. So I'm just going to put a little dot on the edge there. And then start I'm gonna put some of the twine. Okay, so that's kind of my starting point right there. Okay, and now I'm just gonna carefully, because I don't want to move my shaker top. <laughs> don't want to ruin the whole thing. Okay, so I'm gonna put some more hot glue around here. Just kind of do a little bit at a time. I can get it where I want it and just kind of press it in. Okay, a little bit more. I'm <laughs> not being very steady today. It's kind of going all over. It's getting on some of my leaves and up on the top. But this is for real what happens sometimes okay some more of course I'm getting webs all over way around to the end yet. My other one I wrapped I wrapped it around twice and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. Go ahead and go around again. It should be okay just to put a dot here and there of glue because <clears throat> even though it's not super hot, it is still a little 
wet to where it can catch down there. Okay, and then I'll put another piece some more down here at this end to finish it up. <laughs> Was I out of frame on that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess I do need to do um, more crafts with me, so no more tutorials, so that I can get better at doing this. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys like tutorials? Do you want to see more tutorials from me? I I pretty much just do a lot of project shares, and I don't do a ton of tutorials. But if you'd like to see more tutorials, let me know down below if you'd like to see more tutorials. Kind of got it cleaned up. Got a little bit of stuff on the leaves there, but I can just pick that off. Oh, look how pretty that is with just that tad of black and white. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I think I'll go ahead and put this on my thing. Let's see, do I want some more um, depth on it? Yes, I do. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. This is just the center of the um, border piece, you know, for the um, shaker part. <clears throat> so I am going to go ahead and use that for some depth here. I might as well. Okay, and then I will go ahead and just put some hot glue on the back of this for a quick and easy placement. How beautiful, Look how beautiful that is. <clears throat> Love it, what do you think? Okay, I think, I think it needs to have like some words. I almost always put a word, well, I almost always put a word on embellishment, maybe not always on a bag topper, but um, I kind of like that, hey pumpkin. I want that one, or do I want either hey, pumpkin? Like that. that covers up a lot more of the shaker. Okay, do I want that? Yes, I think I do, and I'm actually going to move it down to the bottom, right here where I didn't get I didn't get these two the start and the finish lined up. I mean, didn't get it pushed down and very neatly. So I think I'm going to put that right there and over cover that up and I do not need to worry about it anymore. Okay, you probably need a little bit of foam tape on there. So, let me get a couple of these. These are just the ones from the Dollar Tree. So we need to trim that down a little bit. About like that. And then we'll need this other little piece for the top part. Okay. Now let's go ahead and peel these off. Oh my gosh, you guys, my hands are so ugly. <laughs> you can really tell my age from my hands. Goodness, I hate that. All right, so here's all of them all done, done. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue on there over, take this off, and I'm going to go ahead and cover that up right there. Just straight, 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 straight. Oh, so cute. Look how cute. That turned out cute. I like that. 
I wasn't sure what I was going to, I wasn't planning on decorating it with you guys. I was just, you know, showing you how to do the shaker and put the other stuff together. That turned out so pretty. Now I'd probably, I don't have anything out to use, but I'd probably, you know, maybe do some other little, I don't know, little cabochon or sticker or something. I don't know, maybe some enamel dots up here. Something else to kind of finish it off, but I think that turned out really cute. I haven't put this one together yet, but I haven't glued it down, but oh my gosh. So here's the small one, here's the big one. Look at that pretty set. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so if you have any questions, make sure you leave them for me down in the comments. I'll be happy to, to get back to you and answer them. Um, also, let me know if you would like to see more tutorials from me. I'll try and get better at it <laughs> if you would like to. I mean, I did used to teach classes, so um, I know how to do it. It's just a matter of I haven't done it forever, and it's I'm not used to doing it on camera and stuff, but I'd be happy to do it for you guys. All right, let me know what you think. Um, I'll have Erica's website listed along with the links to these dies. Uh, my affiliate link, if you use that, if you decide to purchase anything, it will... Um, uh, get, uh, share a little bit of the profit with me which helps out my channel it doesn't cost you anymore and then also use my code polka 10 p-o-l-k-a 10 i'll have that everything listed linked below okay thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you on the next one Bye bye